In Canada, there are approximately 800 mining operations producing over 60 metals and minerals, making us one of the largest mining nations in the world. But these mines are also destroying our environment and contributing to global warming. This makes some wonder, what are the effects of mining? A major concern about mining is, when will we run out of resources to mine? According to a study conducted by Visual Capitalist, many of these resources could be gone in the next hundred years with the amount of active mines we have today. This chart shows how much we have left of each metal and energy source. If mining production of each material continues to grow at the same rate, we could run out of oil by 2045, coal by 2055, and antimony by 2020. If production stays static, we could add these materials for a longer period of time. Of course, many factors can also change these findings, since new deposits for the materials are being discovered every year. The biggest concern about mines are their effects on the environment. Mines can cause erosion, formation of sinkholes, loss of biodiversity, and pollution in the soil, water, and air. The machines used in mining also produce mass amounts of greenhouse gases during the mining process. But how much of this is fact or just fear? Mining is usually thought to be a lot worse for the environment than it actually is. Mining is not always detrimental to the water supply. In fact, it's common for the rocks being mined to be naturally acid generating, a problem the mine cleans up when they take away these rocks. Also, many companies even install water supply systems in local communities that lack easy access to this basic resource. It can't be denied that mining is bad for an ecosystem but it's not always as bad as we think. Do you own an electric car? Do you think you are saving the planet by driving it? Mmm, you may want to think again. A recent study states that a Toyota Prius could be worse for the environment than a gas-guzzling Hummer H2. A Prius may only emit 13.81 metric tons of greenhouse emissions over 100,000 miles compared to the Hummer 60.89 making the Prius better for emitting less greenhouse gases. They also take about the same amount of energy to make, but the Prius starts to lose when it comes to its battery. When an EV, or electric vehicle, is plugged in somewhere to charge, it has to get its energy from somewhere, which usually comes from burning coal, except in Ontario. Also, most of the materials used to make the battery have to be mined, like lithium, lead, and some rare earth elements. And finally, when the batteries are retired, they need to go somewhere. Some batteries can be recycled, but the others could have toxic effects on the earth. Electric car batteries are still fairly new, so we don't really know yet how bad the batteries could be for the earth. Mining does have a good side though. In Canada, approximately 375,000 people work in the mining and mineral processing industries. The mining contributed $57 billion to Canada's gross domestic product in 2014. The industry accounted for 18.2% of the value of Canadian goods exports in 2014. In conclusion, mining has its positive and negative effects on the earth, but new ways for green mining are being developed to save the planet. The bottom line is, without mining, our planet wouldn't be what we are today, but mining could destroy our planet tomorrow.